the movie was when my babysitter took me out of soccer to go see the disembodied. She was amazing. I was scarred for life. What were you, like 13? Try 10. Yeah, um, isn't she a little old to be playing Marilyn? No, she's perfect. Yeah, but wasn't Marilyn like 36 when she died? Yes, and Rebecca is 36. Ish. Ish being the operative word. Oh, girl. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, girl. Please don't ever do that again. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, <God>. okay. Okay. <laughs> You guys have been flirting your asses off for the last week, so would you mind, please, just to go out on a real date? Preferably one where I'm not there. We're would just talking. Hi, yes, I'd like to make a reservation for two. Tomorrow night at seven. Yes, under Tom Levitt. L as in lovebirds. <laughs> E-V-I-T-T. -T. Thank you. Do it. Today we all dive into the work. Now, Rebecca's gonna... With a hunger for fame. It's okay? Yep. You like it? Great. Yep. It was good. Great. Yep. I'm so excited. Like it. Great. What are we gonna do? She's not bad. She just... What's the word? Bad? She's got the beat. She's on key. She's just... Loud. That's the word. If she didn't sing so loudly, what would it be? I don't have time for this. They said she could sing. Her agent, her manager, everyone said she could sing. Yeah, well, that should have been the tip-off right there. Didn't you see Rebecca Duvall sing on Saturday Night Live? One of you said she was awesome. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. Maybe it was me. I think I said she was utterly charismatic, which, of course, she is. Listen, Rebecca Duvall is never going to be an opera singer. She's gonna be great. She's gonna tear up the scenery. She's gonna fill the seats. What we need to do is to find a constructive solution. Group suicide. <laughs> okay, um, we we'll use the shadow cells. Give them some songs. Or the Cartwright girl, maybe. Or we bring back Ivy. Put her in the mix. Ivy? Oh, come on. Okay, so she screwed up royally at heaven on earth. But don't you think she's been crucified enough for that already? Seriously? Well, you're going to consign her to cruise ships for the rest of her life? She's bloody talented. I don't know. Guys, she's had a rough patch, but she's fine. And be honest, we need her. But we all hope Rebecca Duvall can do this, but God forbid she can't, and the Cartwright girl is still too green. We all know that. We need Ivy back in the show. Those shadow selves were supposed to be whispers. Whispers in Marilyn's mind, not songs. Whispers. This is just an excuse to bring Ivy back. Hey, we love Ivy. If we're going to have two more Marilyns, one of them might as well be her. The real Marilyn has to be able to sing. Take a breath. We will figure something out. OK, you can't just stand there and act like you weren't freaking out about this whole thing this morning. I was, wasn't I? But now I'm clear-headed and optimistic. And it's your turn to freak out. You're just in a good mood because you have a date with your course crush. Thanks to me. 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 Oh, hey. Maybe that's Derek with some more bright ideas. We have school. Hello? I mean, in that song, it's boring. I mean, it should be more fun. OK, OK, you know what? Um, this sounds like a longer conversation. She thinks my music is boring. It might be a little less boring if she could actually sing it on key. More fun. What blindingly insightful criticism. More fun. <laughs> I don't give a damn if it's fun or not. She can just learn it. That would actually be more fun for me if she would learn the song. Hey, where did Julia say this restaurant was again? <sighs> you know, I'm too wound up to eat. When I get like this, my stomach just shuts down. Yeah, OK. Not that hungry either. So what do you want to do? Into the woods. Hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. For me, it's the frogs. But I'm weird.
<laughs> Wait. It's just moving a little fast. Fast? I'm kind of old-fashioned, okay? <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, um... I go to church and believe in God and stuff, and so I kind of think of this as holy. Wait a minute. It's sex is holy? Yeah. Yeah, man, I think that. Are you a Republican, too? Because I dated one of them, and it didn't work out so well. You Republicans don't own God. You know that. Do I? Look, I like you. I just I want to slow things down, hang out outside of rehearsal, do things. Go to a Knicks game. That idea strikes you as crazy? No, no, come on. No, this is just unusual. You have to admit it. How old are you? 37-ish. And what's your longest relationship? Um, five? Years? Months? OK. <laughs> OK, I know you, you know? You, you meet somebody. You jump right into something, and then you start looking for reasons to bail. Am I right? But trust me, my way is better. aside from the roof being raised by the musical styling of Houston and Levitt. Uh-huh. Good. Bye-bye. Was that page six? No, actually, it was the New York Times. Even they have gotten into the gossip biz. So we're singing as a train wreck, and so is her personal life. We're doubly blessed. <laughs> Rebecca Duval did not get to the top of the A-list by being simple or by having healthy romantic relationships. Neither did Marilyn. She's still Rebecca Duval. And if she wants you to write an extra long scene before Dig Deep, you will write that extra long scene and you will have it on my desk by five, understood? Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for hosting. Well, on the plus side, at least we didn't have to sit through a movie. I was excited about the movie. Me too. Me too. I was. I love the first one. Guys, I think she's a great actress. She just can't sing. Which may no longer be an issue, considering I'm writing a four-hour drama. Well, I've already decided. If she asks to expand on other scenes, we're going to say no. What? Huh? Well, you've already written a marvelous musical, and I want to keep it that way. Hallelujah. How was your date with Sam? He believes in God. Oh. I'm sorry. A lot of people believe in God, Julia. You don't have to tell me. I believe in God. You do? Tom, a lot of people believe in God. I know. I just... It's just not something I talk about. He got you talking about God. Good for him. Oh, he called me out on all of my stuff. Huh? Said I was afraid of intimacy, afraid of commitment, I'm paraphrasing. And that's why I'm still alone at my age. I've said that to you every day since I met you. Please don't make this about yourself. <laughs> I know, I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I got hung up on this phone call with this charter school and all of them on the board and I... Anyway, a thousand apologies. Rebecca, hi. 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 What I miss? Uh, well, we uh, we really appreciate uh -huh. hearing your thoughts about uh, you know wanting to pull back on the songs. Right. But um, moving forward, you want to keep the music numbers in their entirety, right? Mm hmm. Fine. I get it. It's a musical. People want to hear a bunch of songs. Okay. Great. Um which brings us to the songs themselves. Um, we really do appreciate your thoughts about the songs. I, if, if we're gonna work together, 
You can't be so afraid to tell me the truth. Trust me. I want to be as good out there as you want me to be. So let's get down to work. Right off the bat, I suggest that you lower the key in all the songs, giving me more vocal support and cutting back on the solos. And Tom, look, I know you don't want to touch Dig Deep, but I just can't handle that kind of ballad. Understood. Thank you. And I was thinking about hiring a vocal coach. Is that a good idea? Yes. yes.